without going into too much detail. The idea of an antenna tuner, it does not tune the antenna. <laughs> the only purpose of an antenna tuner in any situation is to match the impedance and characteristics of whatever you're trying to load into to match it with the transmitter output impedance. Right. There are two factors to consider. Impedance and a guy called J, which is the inductance and reactance of the load. You have to match the transmitter, which is usually 50 ohms, J0, into something which is not 50 ohms and not J0. Right. So, you're going to need... So you're going to need something which can be an adjustable value of inductance or capacity, or both, or neither, depending on circumstances, there being all kinds of ways to match A to B. Now, on a tuner like this, the first you take the bells and whistles out, which is oftentimes a selector for which output from the tuner you're going to use, there being two varieties a balanced output which is two wires or a coaxial output which is one wire or just a big long wire. In our case it's a big long wire with a ground. But the way the tuner operates is all the same. There are two knobs which need to be adjusted but that's after you preset one other knob. Normally that one other knob you preset will probably be a stepped value of inductance. Now what we're trying to do is there's only one spot on the one knob and there's only one spot on the other knob that will be proper. If you're not on the right spot on one knob or the other knob, it won't work. You've got to have both knobs set to the right spot for that value of stepped inductance. When you change the stepped value of inductance, it's back to a new ball game on them two knobs. Now, how do you set two knobs to their exact spots? The best way is to take one knob, start on one end, the other knob on one end, and you take one of the knobs and you slowly go all the way through to the top and back down again and find out that that ain't it. <laughs> so, you move the other knob up a little bit and you go through again. And then up a little bit. Now, if you do this after you practiced your wrist action, like a guy last night on TV who was fixing an English hat and he was doing the brim, he said it was wrist action. But if you can do the wrist action, you're going to slowly turn this one while you're whacking this one through. And you'll okay. stumble onto it. And then you can fine tune it to the lowest. If you have the right hand knob taking the meter to a dip or maximum SWR, minimum SWR to the dip on SWR. If you're finding that, change this one a little to see if you can make that dip even deeper. So you fiddle with the one that you move very slowly. You use that to find the deepest dip you can get with the one you move fast. Okay. Now let's 